All right, real quick, it's yours truly, Mr. Telefera. Before the video starts, it will mean the world to me if you follow me on Twitter, Instagram. That's how my business grows. At is Mr. Telefera on your screen right now. When you follow and subscribe to me, you become one of the pharaohs. That's how I talk business, and that's how you support a young hustler out here getting it. Yes, sir. Oh, wow. What's up, man? Wow, you well, sir. What's the knowledge, baby? Oh, man, I'm peaceful, so I was truly well. Oh man, blessings up on you, baby. What's the matter? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You yes, sir. You down? Huh? You down right now? Oh, you know what it is. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, I see you coming. I'm, up, with I'm up here. I, hey, I'm a plan. Hey, pressure has been applied. Pressure been applied, man. Tell I'm, I'm, I'm a plan. You, <laughs> you know, I hold it down everywhere I go. I'm gonna be a plan. Real nigga stand on 10 anywhere, man. You yes, sir. Is, yes, sir. Without a thought of contradiction. Yes, sir. I mean that. Yes, sir. What's good, baby? You looking good. You feeling good. Oh, yes, sir. I'm on my, uh, we'll be on our third day. Yeah, I'm on my third day. Oh, okay, okay. I got like 27 more days to go. We're gonna be well. Oh, okay. Shit, it's all good then. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The walk down. Yes, sir. I got about 27 more days to go. Ramadan gonna be over with. You know, I'm gonna be a new creature. You know. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. You know what I can't time wait. Is. I can't wait. I can't wait to catch the lead. You know the lead. You know. You know. I'm gonna do one thing. You know. I'm gonna do one thing for you, Big Jig. I swear. What, what, what you gonna do, man? I'm going to shit on you. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> oh, baby, Jig. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You alone what's up drika boss lady how are you i'm cool and miss drika i'm just chilling <laughs> that's what it is right there man that's real yeah. love man what'd you say real love real love that about what that about 15 years she 15? don't trust a nigga nigga i don't trust a wedding ring <laughs> <laughs> Drink playing with me. I had to go on her DMs yesterday. She thought it was a game. Oh, oh man, you know these niggas, they ain't gonna let Hold up. Hold up, bitch. Hey, hey, bitch. Hey, hey. Do you wanna die? <laughs> <laughs> Do you wanna die? Yeah. Pressure being applied, nigga. Pressure getting applied. <laughs> I just can't wait till the, I ain't gonna lie, though. I, I ain't gonna lie. It's gonna be beautiful. It's gonna be beautiful. So I don't know what they gonna do, but I don't care what they do, man. Hey, my life is in the hand of my creator. I'm well. Yeah. I swear I'm well. That way. I swear I'm gonna plan Yeah, man. What it's looking like, man. When they gonna cut you loose, man. I don't, do. man. I don't know what they gonna do. I don't know what they gonna do. They saying one thing, but you know what I'm saying? I don't know what they gonna do, man. You know, hey, but I can tell you the truth. Hey. It's nothing more you can do to hurt me. <laughs> I'd have been, hey, <laughs> you, you heard me? Yeah, you know how that shit go, man. You know, I'm going to stand on 10 regardless. They can ship me to the well. All right, Mr. Teleferro TV. How's everybody doing? Kevin Gates just trying to get back acclimated to things, trying to see what's up with his homies, what's up with his girl, his family, everything. And part of getting acclimated, and I feel like all fellas should do this when you've been away for a little minute, and I don't think it's a trust issue or anything like that. Oh man, I've been away for like eight, twelve months. My girl looking good. Let me let me go check them DMs out. Like, what's really going on? I know what I got, but it, obviously, if I know what I got, a lot of you other niggas know what I got as well. So Kevin Gates on an Instagram live, he was talking to one of his homies. These two obviously knew each other from Louisiana, some kind of way. You can hear the that you can hear it all in their voices, right? And the connection and the relationship there. Kevin Gates was talking to one of his homies. He was like, you know, I'm home and all that. I had to make sure everything was on the up and us with, with, with Big Booty Drinker, as Gates calls her, because he's acknowledging that his chick looked bad and he knows he's been away for a minute. So obviously that comes with niggas trying to slide in them DMs. Yes, even an artist established as Gates who's made millions of dollars has got to make sure everything with his wife is on the up and ups. So he announced that he had to slide and glide into Drika's DMs on the phone to make sure she wasn't doing that out of the ordinary. Now, we understand there's probably a little bit of satire in, in Gates' voice, but honestly, it probably on the same at the same time is probably some seriousness to his voice as well. 
He's serious. Like, yo, let me make sure everything on the up and ups with these niggas. These niggas ain't trying to get too too prissy and too nice. Maybe some of these niggas thought I was about to do 10 to 15 years and they was just trying to hit hit drinking with the, you know what I mean? Your man's gonna be gone for a little minute. How about I come through, help take care with the kids, all that bullshit. Nah, bruh. Kevin Gates say he had to check out his girl Drinker Gates DMs because he know how it can get from time to time when you're away doing the bid. I want y'all to talk to me in the comment box below. This is a video for the Pharaohs. What's the craziest thing you've had to do to make sure your relationship or the one that you ride with the most was intact? Have you ever went through that phone? Had you had to take it there? Go through that phone, fellas and chicks. I want y'all both to talk to me. Have you had to go through that phone to make sure everything was on the up and ups? Do you go through the phone or your significant other? Do you think that's trespassing or what? I want to know some comments on this one. This shit's going to be hilarious. I'm in the comment section as well. I Look, like I said, man, I, I've skimmed through a couple times. I'll be honest with y'all. I ain't got no reason to lie. I've, yeah, yeah. I've been through a couple times, and I expect the same in return. That's why you, if you got something to hide, you take your phone with you. If you keep your phone down, obviously you're in a committed relationship. That's my opinion on it. If you leave your phone down, you got to trust your significant other. We leave our phone downs in, in, in my relationship, but, you know, to each his own. Thank y'all for the time, love, and support. I don't take it for granted. I want to know y'all opinions on this one. Talk to me in the comment box below. I'm out. I want to salute you, homie, you know, for, for building your own thing and doing your own thing, creating your own platform, your own website. I got one life to live out my dreams, and I'm giving this thing all I got. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I represent the culture. Right now, you're turning up on MrTalaferro.com, shawty.